Hey dong! In this video, we're going to talk about another、uh, sparring footwork drill, our passing pivot. So so far, we've done angles. We've talked about passing versus transverse stepping. So now, how to actually do a little bit more?、Uh, so this is kind of like the、uh, the ultimate one、uh, for our、uh, canonical blocking, at least from the old school federation. It's also just a nice way to be defensive and just know how to get out of there. So it's not going to look <laughs> too incredibly weird, right?、Uh, so we already talked about our passing step, right? All I want you to do is again something is coming towards you. You're going to pass step. And just going to pivot on the foot that you just moved to face your target, right? Now, this really also depends on how close you are to the target.、Uh, if the person's really charging in, you can kind of be defensive and you can really watch them go if you need to.、Uh, but most likely,、uh, you're only going to go off a little bit. You're only going to pivot only so much. You don't really usually need to go like a full. 180, for example, it really depends on how close that person's coming.、Uh, but that's going to be more of a partner drill as opposed to just a theoretical. So,、uh, what I'd like you to do just for now, for your first step, just have a very neutral stance. Step off, right? Take that foot. For now, if you want to really work on just that pivot, go about 90 degrees if you want. So you're kind of like facing the side.、Um, that really just depends on your level of comfort. If you want to go full on, pass and be like, "Ha ha!" Go ahead, <laughs> up to you.、Um, but if you want, you can also kind of work your way up. So basic here, just get that foot offline. That's also fine, right? So if someone's coming in with a cut and you want to be relatively quick, you can be like, "Pop pop," right? That is still technically a passing pivot, right?、Uh, assume maybe you want to get a little bit more out of the way. Passing step and maybe go 30 degrees or 60 degrees. Sorry, 9 degrees, 120, 150. That <laughs> took a little, little bit of a hot second.、Um, so it really just depends on how much you want to practice. But as just the first wave, try that. Go off on an angle. Try just offline, like 30 degrees, 45, 60, 90. If I want to do radians, I could because that's more fun. But、uh, all the way around this way, so it really just depends on what you want to do from there. Then try with different feet forward, right? If you want to start standard taekwondo, have your right foot back, kind of hands up.、Uh, in this case, your passing step would be at least if you're moving to the left, pass, turn, and you can kind of like reverse if you want. Pass, turn, right? Noticing that you could also so. A passing step isn't always necessarily going straight forward. A passing step could be just to the side. So if someone is having a really wide、uh, punch or cut or whatever's going on, and you just want to get get out of this cone, go off to the side. One, two. So that also will count as a passing pivot, right?、Um, but for now, again, if you want to start with your standard taekwondo,、uh, open side, open turn. Open side, right, and going all the way around, but also try on the other side. So if it's here, so passing step is going to look like a step step because it's this foot, but step pivot. It's going to look a little bit different because now we have to like kind of change our position, right? So from here, again, step pivot back this way. Again, step pivot. Same thing with evasions, right? So when someone's coming in, one, two, right? So this one will be a little bit better if you want to maintain your original distance, right? Because someone's coming in, pop, pop, right? So your chest is still about the same height, as opposed to this evasion tends to go forward a little bit more. So it's also just another thing for you to consider. But then also try with the other hand. So if you are used to the、uh, gumdosa ways, here, right? But you just have the right foot forward here. Passing step. If we're going to go to the left, is going to be our step this time. So one, two, back. Same thing on this way. One, two, and back. So nothing crazy yet. That's just the conceptual idea.、Uh, but hopefully that makes sense. So now with a target or a partner, I'm going to start off with standard right leg back, just because that's 
probably where the grand majority of open handers are going to be coming in from. Uh, we can also do the other way as well. So just to get used to the motion. So if you're here, all I want you to do is use that passing step to get close enough to use your rear, uh, your rear hand to touch. You're going to pivot on that foot, touch, and you can kind of like step back if you want to. So a major idea that I want you to be aware of, and this is very, very common in, I think I even talked about this in the previous one, um, in open hand and sword and really any sparring, is having the ability to get out, right? So with this, uh, very, very common, you know, you do your bam, 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 and maybe do some of the attacks, you kind of just stay here in range, you're still in danger, right? Uh, even if you do do a bang, right? I should probably do this guy, bang, bang, right? You're still here. So the main thing I want you to have, uh, now in sword, you actually have a guard, for example. What I want you to do is come in, so offhand, as you pivot forward hand, use this hand to actually push the target back a little bit here. Uh, now, if you want to do a little bit more aggressive, right, you can actually do it with your fist instead of just the tips of your fingers. You can come in, punch. As I pivot, I'm going to bring the, the jabbing hand uh, close to where the jaw would be. If you're using this to mostly get out, you can actually aim a little lower for like their rib because you're punching the center of mass will push them back, help you push back as well. So if I'm here using this to help pivot and push back, right? So that way you're out of distance, and a little bit safer. Uh, but you can do this for both sides, right? So standard position, passing step to the side, still touch if you want to. In this case, you're gonna notice it's very easy to actually touch them. Uh, <laughs> if that's their face, that's really weird and creepy. But you're here, touch and back, right? Really depending on like which foot you want to have forward, that's up to you. Uh, so this is like the standard way and I'll actually do it facing this way if it helps. <laughs> I kind of have it over there to kind of maybe, uh, but yeah, so from here, uh, moving off to the side, notice I'm not going straight on, off to the side from my offhand, pivoting on the foot to touch. I like to make sure I step back as well. Doing it a little bit more smoothly because it's kind of janky doing it slow, right? So you can come in, pop, pop, back, right? And if you want to have a little more oomph to it, you can actually use your fist instead. You can reverse punch, jab as I pivot, bam, and back, right? Again, up to you, uh, but practice that a few times just so you get used to the sensation of, without the hands necessarily being active, you get used to the one, two, getting back. Uh, and same thing with the offhand, right? So with this one, one, two, maybe a little bit of a shuffle back. Uh, but do that a few times just to get used to it. Because I like sets of three, I'm gonna give you three open hand possibilities just so you have that. We're also gonna do some sword activities as well. So uh, one thing that you can do, right? Uh, it's gonna look a little bit strange, right? So from one thing you can do, probably very similar to what you can do with the, uh, what we just kinda of just did, you actually use your side, your passing step, to do both a jab, reverse. Now instead of just pivoting, something you can do just for fun because I, I like this move, it's also kind of just fun to do, is just have a nice elbow, I said elbow, knee, and get back out this way, right? We're gonna do an elbow in the next one, that's why my brain's a little weird. Uh, but again, so from here, uh, I still like to have that quick jab reverse just because it's fun and it's kind of what you're kind of used to. So you're vaying off to the side, pop, pop, and if you're close enough, just come with that happy little knee, coming back, coming back. Uh, do that both sides, right? So from here, again, you can still do the, uh, in this case, it's gonna be really kind of weird because you're kind of stepping with your reverse. You're gonna do a one, two, reverse knee, step, step, back this way. Uh, a little bit weird on that side just because on this side, you kind of have that momentum of you can really get that knee in. Uh, in theory, you can do the same thing this way. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm not as proficient with my knee on my uh, left leg. So there's that guy. Um, another way to do it. So you probably saw this with a, a previous video as well. Um, the use of your elbow is actually quite nice in terms of your defensive capabilities, right? So if you're kind of facing off someone here, someone's being sassy with you trying to, again, end your life. 
use your elbow, kind of come in, uh, to kind of cover yourself, right? And if you need to, you can either do a hammer fist or just coming in with that reverse punch. Uh, so block, punch, back this way, right? Uh, I like that because you're using this to cover. This has a nice pullback action as you can do reverse punch, right? So once again, so bam, other side, uh, kind of use your elbow to cover, right? Uh, if you want to kind of have the still out there ready, but cover, you're gonna use your pivot as you punch, kind of sock them, and then going back this way. And because I like sets of three, and this one's gonna be the least nice <laughs> to do. So obviously don't necessarily do this with a partner unless if you, obviously you should always have consent whenever you do uh, partner work, but uh, be extra careful with this one. Again, not, not my fault if you get hurt. Uh, so if you're here, same idea, uh, hook, right? Uh, so this is very similar to a lot of aspects in uh, gum to open hand. Someone's coming in, evade hook their arm, right? So you can, I like to go for the wrist because you can kind of, it's easier to pull back on, but you could go higher and use the twist going for the elbow. Um, but from here, as I pivot, good old elbow. Here, bang, and back. Now, you could aim for the head. You can also aim for like the uh, top of the shoulder, kind of the game to crook to really make them not be able to hit you in the future. Uh, right, so again, so from here, uh, using your offhand to hook, being able to pull that because it's already back, pull it back as you elbow, and going back in that one. I haven't actually tried it on the side, let's try it. So again, so from here, right? So from here, uh, someone's coming in, uh, grab. This is a little bit weird, but we're gonna still try it. Pull them in as you elbow, and then pulling back in defense. I'm doing a lot of open hand gum dough stuff. Uh, but uh, those are a few combinations you can try with open hand if that's more your forte. And if you're just getting used to the angles that you're working, I feel like that's a good start.